hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks i'm really grateful and i appreciate all of you if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer so let's get started here i'm going to use a five paper size then change it to inches and leave your resolution at 300 okay so these are the tests and i'm going to use in this tutorial and the font is lato heavy so select your solid color and paste the color code you copy then also copy the name of the church Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then close the character spacing by 0%. Then increase the font size. Then Ctrl A to select, apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then duplicate the text, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then come over to your text to copy. Select the text and copy, Ctrl plus C, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Apply vertical alignment, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then import your gray background. Then I'm going to change the blending to saturation. Then import your test. So this test, I designed this test using Corel Draw. So if you want to know how I do this, this test here born to shine, then let me know under the comment section and I will show you how to do it by using Corel Draw. Then come back again to copy your test. No, but before then, I'm going to import the image, then flip it horizontal. Then reduce it a little more. Then bring it back. Now, select your rectangle tool, then you draw your rectangle over here, then close this one, copy the color code, Ctrl plus C to copy, then you paste it, Ctrl plus V. Now you have to reduce the opacity. Then copy the text, that is the name. Ctrl plus V to paste. 
then apply center to centralize the test reduce the test size okay then you position it here then I'm going to reduce the size of the rectangle while I hold my shift key So I will leave it like this for now. Anything I have to do, then I will do it again. Then the next thing I'm going to select the dates and the months and also the time. So here now, this is the icon for the dates. Then that is Q, Control plus U. Then you position it. So I'm increasing the character space of that test there that is present. Then you reduce the font size. Alright, so we'll go back again and continue from where we stop. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl J to duplicate. Double click to alight it. Ctrl plus V to paste. then increase the size but before then i'm going to apply superscript on that letter there then now increase the size drag it up So increase it again. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Control plus J. Highlight it and copy your test. Control plus V to paste. Then you drag it to this position make sure they are aligned together then open the character spacing then it's okay you can now use your mouse then to align it properly Now, so select the test and group it together. Rename it as dates. Apply your draft shadow. Then change it to multiply. Then the opacity 52. 
Now the this distance eight for the spread I'm going to use seven and the size ten. Then you click OK. I'm going to draw a line here. Then I'm going to change the color to this color, orange color. Then you duplicate it. Use your arrow key then to move it. Then apply white color on this. Then select the two layer and use your arrow key to bring it down. Duplicate the text by pressing Ctrl plus J and drag it up. Now move it. Then select the icon for time. Reduce the size. Then press Ctrl plus U for hue. Then OK. Then you change it by Ctrl V. Now increase the test. And reduce this one a little. Then close the character space. To so circle like this. Alright, group them. Now you rename it. Then you bring this icon for the location. Copy your test, then select your test tool and paste it. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then select left alignment and change the color to black. Reduce the size. Okay. Then I'm going to adjust this.
circle like this. So you group this one and rename it. So that is the pastor. Now we are going back to our background. Then you drag it up here. Then expand it. Then take it up. Then change it to screen. Then also bring this one. Scale it out. So go to your filter, then blow, enter 19.4, okay, change it to multiply, so you can see the change is there, then Import this one into your Photoshop. Then you scale it out. Then drag it backward. Okay. Then go to your filter, select block. Then enter 10.0. Okay. So now apply your layer mask. Then you blend the top here. And the bottom all right so apply your layer mask on the light flare and blend it so now we are going to apply effects on the test here So it's normal and our opacity here is 92. Then the, the distance is 11. Then the spread 19. Then the size make it 40. Then go back to your stroke. Then make the size of stroke 5. Then the position should be outside and the opacity 45. Leave the color at white, then you click OK. So this is the outcome of it. Now you group the background. So this is our background. So now select your rectangle, your draw rectangle here. 
So this is where we are going to place our logo. Apply a round shape corner. Then import your logo. Apply vertical alignment, then apply a drop shadow, then leave it at normal, then the opacity 52, then leave the angle at 0. The distance to then the spread for and the size input 21. All right, so I'm going to adjust this light flare here, position it at the top. Then and expand the effects. Okay. Then import this light here and you scale it out. Then change the blending mode to screen. Apply your blur, Gaussian blur. So you leave it. At this number or if you want you can increase it to 19.4 so I'm going to adjust it the number All right, then I'm going to the background to adjust this background here. I'm using the arrow key to move it up. Increase it a little. So I'm increasing it again and drag it up. I 
All right. Now we are going to do the last thing now. So then you copy this test here. Then select your test to increase the size of the fonts. Then control V to paste. Now drag it down. And scale it out. Use your arrow key to bring it down. So that is all for the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. I also use TubeBody to optimize my video. If you like it, then check in the description below then and sign up for your own TubeBody to optimize for your own YouTube channel. Thank you.